Hi, welcome to the craft portion of our Vacation Bible School, virtual Vacation Bible School, Jesus is My Rock. My name is Mrs. Tullidge, and I'm going to show you a few things that you can paint on your rocks to make them special. And again, you can use your own creativity. You don't have to use the exact designs that I am using, but there's a couple ideas to get you started. So as a reminder, whatever rocks you find, you're always going to want to wash with warm, soapy water and dry. So allow for a little bit of dry time before you get started. All the rocks I have have already been washed. And the first um, thing we're also going to do, I used a yogurt cup and I filled it with water. I um, have a piece of construction paper I'm just going to protect my surface with because the paints that are included in your take and make kit are not washable. So you'll want to protect your surface and your clothes. So I have a apron. So I'm going to protect my clothes. You, If you don't have a smock, you can just take a shirt, turn it inside out, and wear that to protect your clothes. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is a cross. So we're going to start off by painting, opening the paints, give them a stir because they probably have been sitting in a box somewhere or on a shelf somewhere. So we're first going to paint um, with a brush, just paint a little white. And these designs are going to be in the take and make packet too. Then in between I rinse it off. I use a paper towel and I dry it off. If you don't have a paper towel, use a napkin, whatever you have. Then I'm going to do a red heart. So then I'm going to stir my red paint. I'm going to paint a red heart. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. So first we do white paint, then the red paint. And I rinse it off again. And then I'm going to open the black paint whatever dark color you would like to use. And then I'm going to draw a cross in the middle. Just to remind us of God's love that he gave us his son, his one and only son, Jesus, to take away our sins with the death on, on the cross. So it's pretty simple. White, then a red heart with a cross in the middle. There's also some knickknacks that I included in your take and make bag. There's some sequins. There's some little eyeballs. So you can use those items once the paint is dry and you can attach. Use a glue stick and put a lot of glue on and then you can make them even more special. Okay, next we're going to do a ladybug. And here's my rock. I'm first going to paint it all red, the red paint. Okay, so everything is red. Then I'm going to draw a line down the middle with the black paint. Okay. Now I'm going to take the black paint again and I'm going to draw a line going across. Then I'm going to make like a half circle to make a little head. And you can add some polka dots, little dots, to make spots for the ladybug. Okay. Now normally you would use glue. I'm just going to, for um, time's sake, I'm just going to put the eyeballs on the paint. But when you do it, you use glue, okay? Put little eyeballs on your ladybug. Isn't that so cute? Love it. That can remind us that all the wondrous creatures and plants that got created. Okay, our next painting is just going to be a simple design. We have a big rock. And we're just going to do some stripes and some wavy lines. So I'm going to start off with green this time. Again, mix your paints in the paint pot because they've been sitting for a while wherever they were. Okay, I'm going to put a little green on. And then I'm going to put some blue on top. 
think the and this specific rag, the blue, turns out a lot nicer. I'm just going to put blue all over. Okay, and then I'm going to clean my brush. My water is looking a little brown, so if your water is looking like mine, you might want to take a little break and go clean it and rinse it out so it's fresh. I'm going to take the red. I'm just going to do like a wavy line. I'm going to rinse it. I think I'll do a stripe now. I think I'll open the yellow and make some stripes. You have some other colors too, like you have pinks and purples in your set. So use whatever colors you like. So I'm making some squiggles. I'm making some straight lines. There's some swirls. I think I'm going to do a red swirl on the bottom. Okay, reminds me of an Easter egg. And I'm going to put that one off to the side. And how about we make a fish now? How does that sound? Let's make a fish. Okay, for the fish, I think I'm going to start with a yellow this time. I'm going to paint the little rock yellow. And look at your rocks and look at which one you think kind of looks like a fish, too. And there's so many different things you can, ways you can paint. There's some, one, there's some examples that look like houses. Um, let me think of some other ones. There's some ones that look like swirls and polka dots and flowers. So you pick, or maybe you'll get inspired by something in your home that you'll want to paint or something in nature. Okay, so I'm going to put this actually, it's going to be the head, this is going to be the tail. So then I'm going to take my black and I'm just going to make a little line. And it's a curved line. Does it look like a bumblebee to you? <laughs> it's supposed to be a fish. And then I'm going to draw some um, eyes. Well, or you could use one of the googly eyes. And again, you'll attach it with some glue. Okay. And then I'm going to make some fins. And some lines for the back of the fish. Little smile. Blah, blah, blah. There's a little fish. And there's some examples on the sheet for you of some other examples of fishes that you can do that are included in your packet. And if you didn't have time to get to church, don't worry. We can um, send you a copy. Just let us know you need it of the examples and we can email them to you or send it to you on Facebook, however works best for you. When you're all done painting, don't forget to clean up after yourself. These are acrylic paints, so you want to wash all the surfaces. If you um, made a little mistake and made a little mess, um, wipe it up with soap and water right away and wash your brushes, close your pots, you can use those again, and then hang up your smock or your shirt to dry so you can use it again, okay? So each day you're going to find a rock and each day you're going to do a little painting and I can't wait to see what you guys have come up with. Blessings on your day.